I got a request to show myself juicing because in the last vlog that I juiced I didn't film myself juicing and that was because I need two hands to do it so I set up a tripod this time and I thought I would also show you guys me putting it back together because I haven't put it back together since I washed the parts so that piece goes on The food pusher, which, there you go. I guess I will have, hmm, maybe I'll have to put this back a little bit so you can see the top and see where the juice is coming out. Putting a bag in this so that I don't have to clean this out. I have carrots and orange and peach. I figured I'd do two fruits to make it a bit more of a breakfast juice because it is the morning. So let's see if this gets me enough juice. I really like the power cord because it has a hole in it, so it makes it really easy to pull it out. I wish all cables came with a hole in it like that. Turn it on, it's gonna be a little loud, so I might not talk. Yeah, it's not all gonna fit. I'll have to drink the rest after. That's what it looks like. Now I got a taste test. Mmm, that's really good. Ooh, and I can taste the peach, obviously. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, that's pretty darn good. It doesn't taste gross because of the carrot or anything. I was even surprised with the one I made with celery. It tasted good with the celery. It was not nasty or anything, so. Yeah, I haven't made one with kale yet. I've done smoothies with kale, but I haven't done um, juice with kale yet. So, see how that goes. Although, based on what I've seen, you don't get much juice out of kale, but it still has a lot of flavor to it. And if I wash all the parts right away, I really just need to rinse them, except for that mesh piece that I've shown before. It needs to get scrubbed a little bit, but it's easy to clean if you clean it right away. I'm just gonna clip this bag so I can reuse it, because I feel bad using a bag every time I juice and I'd run out of bags, so let's do that. Yay! Do these holes look really bad? I I had this shirt on and then I took it off because I wanted to try on the dress that I bought for my friend's wedding and because I haven't tried it on yet and I got that dress like two months ago. So I wanted to try it on and when I was pulling off my shirt I heard a and uh holes everywhere. This is a cute shirt too. Like it's a little bit thin and kind of shows everything but yeah there's also a little hole here and a little hole here so maybe you know and the, the elastic fibers are coming out well there's just some hair but yeah there's like elastic fibers sticking out everywhere so maybe maybe this shirt is gonna have to go in the trash or something <laughs> but anyway i gotta head to the mall because i have to pick some stuff up and um while i'm there i figured i might as well get some more things because i was planning on doing a mall trip sometime this week before I leave anyway and since I have to go today I'm like well I might as well just get some of the other stuff I've been meaning to get um I'll keep an eye out for more summery clothes but I don't really want to spend the time clothes shopping today so I might leave that for after um after the wedding and before Disneyland but if I happen to see something in like a window of a store I might go check it out but I mostly need to get makeup stuff and where did I put that list it was sitting on my desk, so now it's probably here on my printer because I moved everything over when I filmed my video. Oh, it's not. Hmm. Where is that? Okay, after looking everywhere, it was on the printer, sandwiched between some stuff. So I need to pick up a prescription. I need to get some foundation. And uh, I'm, I need powder foundation and liquid foundation if I'm getting a liquid foundation. I want to try some Bare Minerals stuff because right now I use the MAC Pro Longwear. And my powder foundation is almost empty and then it broke. And so I just have a few powder chunks left. Um, I need mascara. I need blush. Like, I want everything. 
I need to get more of my moisturizer that has SPF in it because it's almost empty. I need an eyelash curler because mine's been broken forever, but I've still been using it. Um, could stock up on deodorant. I could use a travel deodorant. And then if I see some clothes, but it's like a lot of beauty supplies basically, which could get a little expensive because I'm running out of everything at once. Oh, and I want to potentially get an eyeliner stick because right now I have like a liquid liner pencil. I'm gonna write it down. Eyeliner question mark. Sorry, you're really close. Okay, all right. So I want this trip to not be too long because I have to do a video today. <clears throat> so let's try to make this kind of quick. One thing that I didn't write down is a wedding gift. I gotta keep an eye out for that. Otherwise I have to go back later this week. So I'll just write it down, keep an eye out for it. Oh, shoot, I gotta package some orders before I leave. I think I have three new ones. So I should get those packaged so I can drop them off while I'm out. Mega print printing. So it's actually four orders, not three, and one of them has a couple of big prints, and so I need to print off some, well, just one, <laughs> of the Jewel Sisters print, so it'll be fresh off the press. Oh yeah, look at this beauteous print. By the way, if people don't know, this half of the Jewel Sisters print was drawn and colored by Sequems. So whenever I sell prints that are collab print, I keep track of how many I've sold. I have a little chart and I keep track for how much they sold for because there's a huge range depending whether or not they used a coupon code, how much was the coupon code, what size was the print. And so I have like my messy little chart where I'm keeping track of like how many of each size sell. And then half of the profits will go to the artist who worked on the other half. This person is also getting the mermaid and fairy picture, which was my collab with Art of Carte. And the only other collab picture I have for sale is the Team Rocket one, which I did with art by Kiernie Haley. I'm not selling the Mulan one that I did with Lumia Crescent because um, it's a Disney one. And so I don't want to sell Disney prints. And eventually I won't have any fan art prints like the Team Rocket one's fan art. Eventually that won't be available anymore either. But these two are original, so these ones should be available for a very long time <laughs> until I have like so much new art that I'm like these are old and I don't like them anymore but I'm sure I'll like them for a very long time because I quite like both of these ones I like how they turned out I just remembered a couple other things to add to my list I need to get Christian some coffee filters and my sister some dry shampoo from Lush because there's no Lush where she lives and since I'm seeing her next week I was like hey why don't I just pick you some up so yeah lots of places to go in the mall guys today was just ridiculous um i was gone for several hours i think i left around 1 30 because my sky train ticket said it expired at three and they're good for an hour and a half so that means i must have left at 1 30. i got home close to 6 30 i think <sighs> man and i didn't vlog anything so i don't like vlogging when i'm shopping and things if i'm like Maybe if I'm in the hallways of the mall, but if I'm in a store, they usually don't like it when you film, and so I can't really get away with it when I'm alone, because they see me talking to myself, and they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> I need Christian to come and be my cameraman, but he worked today, and I wouldn't drag him through hours of shopping anyway. And my hands just got really full of bags, because I was buying a lot of crap. I showed you my list. I got everything on the list except my prescription, which is the whole reason I had to go today. So, I had to go back, and then I had to wait for my prescription, which takes half an hour, and then come back. So, it's just been one of those days. It's now 8 p.m., and my feet hurt, and, oh well, I got a lot of stuff like probably too much stuff no it's stuff I needed to get anyways and so I'm like whatever <laughs> I got these sunglasses because I've been needing to get a pair because I have this humongous pair I can see it right over there <laughs> they're huge and so they sit on my cheek and they leave big dents there are these cheap pairs I got for like five bucks I think I got them at stitches I haven't shopped at stitches in forever and they're the other ones are super scratched now so I was like time for a new pair so I got these at Superstore. I'll show you the other stuff I got. Oh, 
because otherwise this would be a pretty boring video. Yeah, I shopped all day. Bye. <laughs> of course, I gotta show you what I got. I'm glad because now I feel like I have a good selection of summery clothes because most of my summer clothes are graphic t-shirts and so I want things that are not graphic tees. I want things that are a light, thin fabric, blowy, or not blowy, flowy, so that I can breathe <laughs> and stuff like that. So I was like, I need more things that are not graphic tees. I did get some stuff like, what, a month and a half ago? I vlogged it. I vlogged the stuff I got, which included this skirt. And, uh,. Yeah, I've got a few more things, so I'll, we'll show that to you. Okay, let's show some stuff. Christian, I'm trying to film. No, no swearing. <laughs> anyway, I got this pack of seven pairs of black socks because I always need more black socks since... I mean, I don't need them for the summertime, really, but uh, a lot of the ones I had had holes in them and are thrown out, so now I have more! It's a good color of sock to have. And this is the dry shampoo for my sister from Lush, so I'll give that to her um, in about a week. And I got my mascara, which is CoverGirl from Sephora. I got the Bare Minerals Foundation and a Sephora eyeliner and it's the kind you just twist up because I hate the kind you have to sharpen so these are both things I've never tried before so that'll be interesting for a brush to go with my bare minerals I just got this oh hey this is an elf brush I didn't even notice I got this in Superstore I didn't even know they carried elf products that's weird anyway it was four dollars uh, I almost wanted to get a round-ended brush because this is a stippling brush. I wanted to get a rounder one that's meant for powder foundations, but they didn't have one in this brand. They had an $18 one in the Joe Fresh brand, and I was like, I'm not paying $18 for a brush. So I just got this one. <laughs> and then this blush. So yeah, this these are from Superstore. This is also from Superstore. This eyelash curler, hold on, wait for this to focus. It's super bling bling. Look at this thing. It's black, it's got purple handle, and this is the only Revlon eyelash curler they had, because they have a section with little beauty tools and various things, and they had this eyelash curler, and they had this really sketchy one that was for $4, and this one was like $5, because it's on sale. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm getting the blingy one. <laughs> All right. And then travel hairspray and a travel deodorant. I usually still bring a full-size deodorant if I'm going for a full week, but I thought this would be good to have in my purse on the sweaty days. So that's why I got that. And then I got my moisturizer that I mentioned. This is the stuff I usually get, but I also picked up this one because it seems like it's the exact same stuff, just SPF 30. And this is 15. So they're this one's bigger it's 118 mils this one's only 73 and so that's why I got both is because I'll still use this one every day because it's cheaper because they were the same price even though they're different sizes and then uh, I'll use this one for when I'm gonna be spending a day outside and I'll use it as the sunscreen for my face I mean this has worked pretty well on days when I go outside I've never burned while wearing this but I thought this just might be better because I'll be out like a lot especially in uh, LA and stuff, so figured I'd get that. And then toothpaste. So those are kind of the, those type of things, toiletries and makeup stuff. I got these shoes from Spring. I've been wanting shoes like this for so long and I've been very picky about how I want them to look. I knew I wanted brown ones with a light base and everything and I was very particular about how the top looked. I didn't want it to look grannyish. I don't like the kinds that have a strap that has a little belt buckle on the side because they're annoying to get on and off. But I wasn't sure if I wanted slip-on ones because like I want something that'll stay on more. So I decided to go with the zipper ones. And these are surprisingly comfortable. Like, I mean, they're, they're flat, so it's not like you get a lot of cushioning or anything, really. There's no cushioning. But the back was not rubbing at all because I wore these when I went back to the mall just now. And so, uh, yeah, I was very pleased with these. And they're so cute. So those were from spring. Now moving on to the clothes. I got these two tops from H&M. Both sleeveless because that's what I was looking for. 
thin fabric, nice and billowy. This one's so see-through though. I'm planning on wearing it unbuttoned with maybe a, a tank top underneath or something. And then these are the capris I got. I got it from a store. Yeah, International Clothiers. It's this weird store and a lot of their clothing looks really outdated in style. It's like clothes from 10 years ago. And I was like, hey, I bet they'll have these kinds of capris. And sure enough, they did because I couldn't find capris anywhere. And a few places did have capris, but they were either jean capris or just like hideous capris. So these are the khaki type of capris. Looser fitting and it has a stretchy waistband so it's super comfy and I won't need a belt with them. And I wanted the black pair to be the exact same as this pair, but there was only one I could find in black and it was an extra large so I couldn't get it. And um, so this is a slightly different style. It fits a bit differently, but it's still good. I still like both of them. Moving on to this side. Sorry, Christian. I have these amazing skirts. I'm so excited. I almost got this one in burgundy, but then I figured it was maybe a little too similar to this one, even though it's not. I don't know. I just decided this one would be a little bit better, and it feels a little bit more summery because the burgundy is really deep and seemed more like a fall item, so I was like, eh. Let's go with this color. And then I also got this pattern, which is a really cute floral pattern. And this top, which is from Garage, because these were from Urban Behavior and that was from Garage. The only thing about these is they do have these belt buckle things, so you have to wear the skirt on top of your shirt, which I do a lot of the time anyways, but I don't really have the option of wearing a shirt on top because that will show through and look stupid. But they're still really nice, really thin, breathable fabric. And last but not least, this thingy, which is like a big shawl type of shirt. And it's really meshy, it's got some fringe, and it would be really cool to wear on top of some of my existing shirts just to spice them up a bit. Kind of a good way of repurposing your old shirts. So, that is all the crap I got today. <sighs> Oh, and about the wedding gift, because that was also on the list, I guess. Um, this is my fault for not getting on this sooner. It's just one of those things I kept forgetting about. Okay, um, because there's she has a gift registry with Sears. And so I went there, because I thought you had to go into the store for these gift registries. Otherwise, I could have done it online last week or something. I'm dumb. Of course you could do it online. You know, it's 2015. Anyway. So I was looking at, I was on the computer at Sears looking at the registry thing and I even printed out a paper but I didn't understand all the product names because they're all abbreviated and stuff. And so I was on the computer clicking on things to see what they were and I found something I quite liked. I was like, dang, this is something I would see myself picking out for her and it's on her registry and no one had got it yet. And it said it was only available through the catalog which means also online, but they didn't have it in store. And uh, it's Saturday, and we leave on Thursday. <laughs> so this is why I'm kicking myself. I'm like, wow, Bailey, you should have gone on this sooner. So um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. It said on their website that shipping estimated between two to six business days and could be longer if you live in a rural area. So I feel like, I don't know where they ship from, but I feel like there'd be a good chance of me getting it in two days if I got it shipped to Vancouver, but it's way too heavy. It was actually like two things. One is like a thing and one is a set of things. I don't want to be too specific. She doesn't watch my vlogs, but I just don't want to be too specific in case. And so they're very, very heavy. And so there's no way I could bring those in my suitcase. So I could get it shipped to my mom's house. And the city she lives in is not as big of a city as Vancouver. And so it would take an extra day or two to get there than it would to get here. And that might be too late. Because we are passing through there on our way to Gravelberg. We're going to fly to Calgary, catch a ride with Christian's parents to Medicine Hat, which is where both our parents live. And then we're going to rent a car and go to Gravelberg. And so if I got it shipped to Medicine Hat, I could pick it up on our way through. But that's if it's there on time, that's super risky because they probably wouldn't even ship it until Monday. And so I don't think I really want to risk it. I think I'm just, oh God, why do I put the strap on and then I can never get it off. <laughs> um, I might just look for something online that 
you know, hopefully I can find a place that sells the kind of things I'm looking for and can maybe do express delivery, like one or two business days. Something small enough though. If it's big, I'm gonna have to get it shipped to my mom's house. And if it's smaller, I'm gonna get it shipped here. So I might actually have to look for some of that stuff tonight because I'd want to get on that as soon as possible, obviously. Okay, so I have a potential solution. And if you're wondering why I don't just ship it to her directly, it's because they live in a very rural area and they would have to go to a city or something to pick it up. And I want to have something to give her that she can open up the day after the wedding for the gift opening. You know, I don't want to just be like, you'll get your present later. So it's not on Amazon.ca, but I did find it on Amazon.com. The problem is I can't choose one or two day shipping on Amazon.com. Sorry, battery died. But yeah, I can't do one or two day shipping because I live in Canada, so. Also, they have, okay, because what this is, I'll just say it. One of the things is a dinnerware set and then there's a matching teapot. And they're really cool vintage items. They look so cool. That is so the thing I was picturing before I even went to Sears. So I was like, I need to get this. Did I not switch out the batteries? How come this one's now flashing that it's dead? It, I just took it off the charger. Did I just put the same battery back in the camera? No, they're both dying. Why, it was in the charger. I need to film a video. I need battery power, oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna film on my phone because apparently both my batteries are dead, which is horrific because I need to film a an art video, like a long art video. So, anyway. So, I can get the dinnerware set, but not the teapot, basically. But the teapot was so cute. It would have been really expensive to get both, but teapot was cuter but you can't have the just the teapot because it's like oh it's a teapot that doesn't match anything like you need the dinnerware set so this is probably for the best so I can choose priority global shipping and if I get it shipped here to Vancouver it'll arrive Wednesday if I get it shipped to my mom's house it'll arrive Thursday which is risky because we pass through on Thursday and the time like our flights I think are early so the time we pass through town it might not even be delivered yet or it might have been a missed delivery if my sister's not home and my mom's at work or something then it's gonna be at the post office and you can't pick it up till Friday then so like safest bet would be to mail it here but then I gotta figure out how to get it there. <laughs> I think I feel more comfortable shipping it here. I might have to take a second suitcase or something and pay the $25 or whatever it costs to get a second suitcase. I think it's more like $30 these days. But um, the, the sucky thing is though, I have to pay um, $85 shipping on Amazon to get it by Wednesday, which sucks. <laughs> That's so much money, and that's American dollars, too. So, let's see, let's compare this to the gift registry price here. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm actually, okay. The price on Sears for Canada is $180. On Amazon, it's only 95 for the set, plus $85 shipping. So, really, it's roughly the same price, but that's US dollars, this is Canadian dollars. I don't even know where the lens is. I'm like, where do I look? <laughs> So it'll, it will be more expensive this way, but that's the price I pay for not, you know, doing this advan in advance, being a last minute shopper like this. That's the price I pay, so. I wonder how heavy it is. Like, what if it's too heavy to even come in my suitcase? <laughs> it says the shipping weight's only 16.2 pounds. This is what it is, by the way. So that's good. That's not heavy at all. So I think I'll be okay in terms of weight. It might be a really big box though. Here's my progress. I got this drawn out, finally. And it's based off the outfit I bought today. <laughs> the pink crop top and the floral skirt. So I just felt inspired to draw it, so that's what I'm doing. And then I just traced it onto marker paper and I have to ink it. I haven't even started filming anything yet because I think I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna start filming now that I'm inking but I wanted to just get the sketch done. And since my batteries were dead for my camera, I didn't really have a choice, but one of them's charged now. So I'm gonna ink and color and edit both versions of the video. Oh my. Just finished the picture. It's only 5.48 AM. 
<laughs> it took so long. Uh, that was a long time spent on it. But I wanted to make it good because I feel bad. I feel like I've been kind of neglecting Patreon. So. Yep, and I've just finished the artwork. I haven't done a voiceover or edited it. Oh, it's light out. Anyway, good night. See you guys tomorrow. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, vlog is up. I replied to some comments on my YouTube tips video and now it's time for some leftover stew because it's 5 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything and then I realized I haven't had anything to drink either. When I was when I started recording my video, I was like, oh, my mouth is a little bit dry and I grabbed my water bottle.